We have all made it to the weekend and what a better way to kick it off than with a brunch for a good cause. Well, hundreds of people did just that at the brunch fest event put on by the Centers for Youth and Families today. THV 11's Frederick Price shows us tonight how organizers say the fest continues to help Arkansas kids in so many ways. Some people are fans of Saturday brunch, but for Melissa Hendricks, the hot meal is a way to give back to the community. So our young professionals group wanted to take on a signature fundraiser to raise funds for the kids in, at, who live at the centers. She says the Centers for Youth and Families is one of Arkansas's longest running nonprofits. Their mission is to support kids with common problems thousands face every day. We help about 5,000 people a year with services along a mental health spectrum. Nearly 400 people came to Saturday's Brunch Fest, all with a passion to make sure kids get the help they need. Therapeutic needs, resources like basic everyday needs like food and clothing. Mary Claire Hill has been a part of their Emerging Leaders organization for about three years. A group of young professionals who raise money for the centers. Brunch Fest is their biggest event, but it suffered like many things in 2020. The pandemic impacted everyone and the centers definitely felt that impact. Even though the festival was paused, she was still able to help in a different capacity. I was able to dedicate time to uh, and resources really to help step in and uh, send coloring books or things that the students could do while they were uh, in their facilities. Amanda McCauley says being a part of this group really allows her to give back to communities in Arkansas. Part of this is going to benefit their summer activities and uh, that's such a huge deal for kids. A huge deal not only for the people this organization serves but for the businesses who also support their mission. It really started something new that the restaurants were thrilled to get behind and obviously people in the community wanted to get behind. And Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News.